Hi, I'm the Artie Dans and welcome to this quick review. For this review, let's take a look at the Korean action thriller Hit and Run Squad. So, what's it about? Si Yong is investigating the corruption of a Korean commissioner by a racing club chairman when she is demoted to the Hit and Run division. Unbeknownst to her, the division has also been investigating the racing club chairman over a hit and run incident three months prior, and Si Yong uses this opportunity to crack her case and get promoted back to where she belongs. Hey you, love Japanese stuff? Check out J-List. They sell all sorts of cool Japanese stuff like snacks, toys, games and adult products. There's a link to their site below in the description of the video and any purchase you make using that link helps support this channel. Thanks for your help. Is it worth watching? Koreans are good at popcorn films and this is another to add to the pile. The story isn't anything remarkable, but the action sequences, especially the car chase at the end of the movie, is well filmed and exciting, even if it wanders into ridiculous territory more than a few times. At 130 minutes, it certainly does stretch on longer than it needs to, considering the shift in the movie at the halfway point from a light comedy to a more serious thriller. It's a little confusing about what kind of movie it wants to be at times but it's a decent action thriller with great car chase scenes and solid acting. Highlight being Do Jung Suk as the racing car chairman Jung Jae Chol. Annoyingly, the movie sets itself up for a sequel that doesn't need to happen. Thanks for watching this quick review. Look out for more on my channel.